teeing off all year is a West Coast luxury. And when you can do it in the middle of the city, even better. I just live a block away, so uh, I come down as often as I can. Well, it's so close, and then, like, price-wise, I think it's competitive with other courses. The publicly owned Langara Golf Course's central location is what attracts a lot of players. But that's also what makes it an attractive but controversial place to build housing. Particularly when you see the numbers. This urban designer and a colleague say there is a huge opportunity to take a bite out of the housing crisis in Vancouver by developing spaces like this one. We're just not in, you know, making land anymore, so here's a chance to think about uh, the golf course in a more ethical way. The city owns and operates three public golf courses, adding up to roughly two square kilometers of land. The UBC experts say if developed, it could house 60,000 people and be worth $20 billion. Well, I'm against it because I like, I like golf, so I think it's a great course too, right? So yeah, I'm totally against that. There was a time a few years ago where everything was being converted into a golf course and now it's gone the other way for a while. Okay, so not exactly welcome news for golfers, but the experts argue the sport isn't exactly on the upswing. And turning fairways into driveways is a conversation in other parts of Canada too. A handful of private clubs in Ontario have already been sold off for development. The parkland we have is precious, and if you start developing and paving over, there's no way back. But this Vancouver Park Board Commissioner isn't ready to give up on the Greens. With the situation, with the uh, population increasing in the neighbourhood, that yes, uh, more than just golf will be the answer. But at the very least, the urban designers are asking the city to consider their pitch that building housing here is a good play. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.